Folks, it is Star Wars Day, or the start of the Star Wars Day Lego store promotion anyway, which is on between now and the 4th of May. We are outside the Lego store. As you can see, they had a little bit of a velvet rope situation outside there this morning for the queue, but we are here 37 minutes after they opened and there's no queue. So we're gonna go and have a little look to see what's inside. As you know, we're not really Star Wars people, so we're not desperate to buy a load of stuff. Although I am always tempted to buy a gift with purchase, but we'll go in, have a little rummage around, show you what's in there. And uh, yeah, our first exposure to Star Wars Day. Here we go. So from this side, you wouldn't know. It's just all the normal stuff that you get over here. And of course, double points on Star Wars stuff. Yeah, so at double points on Star Wars stuff. There's discounts for members on Star Wars stuff. There's loads of new Star Wars sets that are launching today. There you go, it's actually until the 5th of May that the promotion runs. So that's the new one that's out today, the TIE Interceptor. And then they've got a, uh, a big boy in the window as well. And in addition to that, they've also got old Furface stood in the doorway holding a bottle of hand sanitizer, which is very, very snazzy. There you go. I'm just hanging out with their hand sanitizer man. You probably can't hear or hopefully can't hear. They are playing Star Wars music in here. So within nine seconds of me saying we're not here to buy any Star Wars stuff, Anna's already holding Star Wars stuff. There we go. I think in order to get the gift with purchase, we have to spend 145 on Star Wars stuff. I am tempted to get the little mini, um, the little mini Millennium Falcon because I had a Millennium Falcon as a kid. So we might actually end up doing it but we're just having a little rummage through what else is in here as well. I really like the look at that set. I've been seeing that a lot lately, so I might have to pick up one of those. But I think the other new release stuff today, there's not really a huge amount. There was the Despicable Me stuff, but that was snuck out the other week. So I'm not sure what else there is that's new. Of course, we've got the new collector minifigs over there. So there we have the new minifigs. We've got a box of those on their way to us, so we, uh, we shouldn't need to buy any today. But I think the... Uh, the QR code thing still works for this rate, for this wave as well. We'll be able to test that out when we get ours at home. Should be today. I'm surprised Anna's not picking that up. I know she was very keen to get herself an R2-D2. Yeah, I know that one's the £200. It's this one that's the better one. That's the one people keep telling you you should get, the £90 one. But I am thinking I might grab one of these just to get us a little bit closer to that gift of purchase. Oh, I don't think it actually gets us there because I don't think Anna's is quite enough. We've got some snazzy bits in there. Have a little look at all the bits and bobs that we've got. There's so much Star Wars stuff in here. There you go, that's, that's the Millennium Falcon, which does get double points on it as well, which is another appealing reason to grab it. And then what else have we got that's the new stuff today? This is where my lack of Star Wars knowledge really shows. I'm sure you lot will know and can let me know all about it based on what we're showing here. Let me know in the comments. There you go, there's the little one. But I do think Anna should get. I've had a couple of people on the Discord saying they've been into Lego stores lately and not been able to find that set, but it's in stock here today. As well as all the Marvel stuff being in as well. I think these, this set of brickheads is new as well. And possibly that one as well. Again. Very much, very much guesswork based on not really knowing anything about Star Wars. There's nothing new in the Marvel stuff today. And I think the next wave of space stuff is out in the middle of the month where we get the Milky Way and the big space shuttle. I think they're all out on the 15th. Also nothing new today in cars or speed champions. But we should probably have a little rummage through the pick a brick, see if there's anything we like the look of. And then if we have a little bit of a rummage down the other side, we still have the very handsome giraffe showing off in there. Main Street, which I am gonna pop that in the Lego City at some point. I've got a re-brickable of that that I'm gonna be doing. I don't think there's any new Ninjago or Lego City today. It's very much, believe it or not, on Star Wars Day. It's all very, very Star Wars focused. That being said, we do have the new, uh, the new aliens. These are out new today. So we've got the alien pack and the alien planet oh, habitat. They're two different sets. Uh, which one are you getting? Oh, 
<laughs> Anna wants herself some aliens. So, having a look at more of the city space stuff. I think most of this was already out. That one possibly is new, I think, at the bottom there. I'm not really into the space stuff. I'll get the minifigs, but I don't really have anywhere to put all of this space stuff. Ah, oh, there you go. Is that one new as well? We've got a few more of the uh, a few more of the Star Wars bits and bobs, and of course Anna's chatting to staff in here as well, like she always does in the Lego store. More space stuff, which Anna wants to buy all of the space stuff. She just wants one of everything. I don't know what she's going to do with it, but she is very much after all the space bits. And there we go. The main event, all of the new Star Wars bits. So that's the one that Anna's getting. And then obviously we've got the big one. This I know is new out today as well. I think we've got them assembled in here so we can have, so we can have a little bit of a look at them. So that's what Anna's going to be getting. And then around here, we have that one, which I did see a YouTube video, and apparently the ships don't fit through the arch, which is a little bit of a design flaw. And then, again, nothing new, I don't think, in Duplo or Disney. He says, and Anna is pointing out, that the new Inside Out Mood Cubes are out today as well, so there is something new in Disney. So there are quite a few bits that are new. Right, we need to do some maths and get ourselves to gift with purchase level. So how much is this? This is 60. So we need to spend another 85 pounds on Star Wars stuff to get to the gift with purchase. Anna is getting, <laughs> Anna is bonkers. Wow. I don't think I actually showed the brickheads assembled. So these are the new brickheads for today as well. And then I think this is what we're getting to get a try gift with purchase to get us our £145 spend on Star Wars. And there we go, job done. I'll show you what we've got when we get back to the car. So back at the car for the traditional demonstration of what we purchased, allow me to show you. Got to tilt the camera down because this is Anna's bits first. Um, so this is Anna's little bag. So Anna picked up the newly released today, Inside Out 2. Are they brickheads or are they just a weird cube thing? Dots and I like dots. There you go, they've got dots on. Uh, she also got some daffodils, because it's spring. And one of the two alien packs for the new space range. Yeah, they are cool. Very cool. So that was Anna's purchases. No one can hear you. This is the only microphone. Oh. <laughs> I, I was um, give, trying to give Kevin um, a vibe by wearing my Starry Night t-shirt as i said i'm not going to buy a starry night when it's not on a discount that would be mad um but yeah we got the star wars stuff as well so very much in an effort to get to the 145 pound spend for the gift of purchase so i got the millennium falcon which actually cost more than it did in b m last week we saw this in b m for 65 pounds but also with a 20 percent off so it was or it was it worked out at like 58 pounds in b m last week we paid 75 but that was with double insider points on Star Wars stuff as well. Plus it went towards the three gifts with purchase that we got. So I have my little mini Millennium Falcon, which is smaller than the one that I had as a kid, but I now have a Millennium Falcon oh, again. Wow. Anna got the, uh, the Droidecker because BD this one. can stand next to her BD-1 and oh. be his friend. I still don't fully understand why she didn't get the R2-D2, but she wanted this instead, so. I like robots. That look like that Analogic. And then in order to push ourselves over the threshold, because that those two combined I think came in at 135. So this was about 12 quid. Just it was the it was the cheapest 10 pound plus thing that they had. 10 pound the 999 brick head wasn't enough. So this was the next most expensive thing that they had. So I have some little Star Wars men who I guess we can now start a Comic-Con area in the Lego City. And these one? guys can wander around. So I imagine so. Yeah. There you go, we've got that. And then the three gifts of purchase. So, I get one. <laughs> in reverse order, from cheapest to most expensive, I think this is the one for the £35 spend, which is just a little poly bag gun thing. Again, not a Star Wars expert. And then I think it was £75. Got this, which I am going to open it to show what it is. Be gentle, be nice. No, 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 no. let's. 
I think it's a, a coin or something. So it's a little commemorative I like a coin. Lego Star Wars 25 years thing, which says in big letters on the back, this item is not a toy. But uh, yeah, that's a £75 spend to get that one. Obviously, all of this is while stocks last, which is why we got here early on launch day. And then for the £135 spend, um, we get the Trade Federation Troop Carrier. Which okay. doesn't mean much to me, but it has a whole lot of minifigs. There's something like that you can and, uh, Yeah, <laughs> there we go. So, despite less than 10 minutes ago in this video, I imagine saying we were here on Lego Star Wars Day, but not that into Star Wars and probably weren't going to buy anything, we have gone in there, got swept up in the hype, swept up in the music, swept up in all the Star Wars displays. Oh, yeah, they had the cantina music. They did, they had all the music playing, so much cool Star Wars stuff in the store. And yeah, we got the gift of purchase. So I guess the job now is whilst building this stuff, watch the movies and see if we can get ourselves into Star Wars somehow. I've seen one. Yeah. But if you've enjoyed that video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for us. Let us know down in the comments section what you've picked up on new release day here on March the 1st. May the 1st, not March the 1st. There'll be a second new release day video this month as well because we have a second wave of releases coming out on the 15th, which is the... Uh, some more of the space stuff. We won't be able to do that straight away. So if you're one of the people that only checks out the new release videos, we'll be a few days late with that one so we don't get back from our holiday until the 17th. But we will be, we'll probably, we'll pick up at least one of those things on the next new release day, if not both. That one probably excites us a little bit more than this one did. And we ended up buying loads on this one as well. But let us know down in the comments what you picked up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We make loads of Lego content, not just these shopping videos. We're making a Lego city from scratch. We're, uh, we go to conventions. We've, we've got lots of Lego stuff. So subscribe, turn your notifications on, have a little look around. There will be the new CMF unboxing series very, very soon. Hopefully they'll arrive today. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching.